Hey guys, quick video here today. Gonna take a closer look at the Anchor PowerCore 10,000 milliamp hour series and see if it'll power my MacBook Pro with a jerry rig setup. I'm gonna be using a USB 3.0 to a micro USB cord along with Anchor adapters which go from micro USB to USB-C. Now I've used this in, this in the past with a cord that just is standard USB 3.0 to a USB-C straight into the MacBook Pro and it does power it. But let's just say you don't have one of those, but you want to just pick up some of these adapters for $7. Let's see if it'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, put this cord together. You can see that's micro USB input to a male USB-C. All right, I've got that set up, ready to go. Uh, on the anchor, it gives you an LED indicator that tells you how much power is in the battery. It has Qualcomm 3.0 quick charge. Apple doesn't support that, but it's a nice feature. So I'm just going to bring my MacBook Pro further up to the, to the GoPro so we can get a better look at it. All right. So from here, I'm just going to plug it in. To the MacBook Pro and the indicator turns on and lets you know if it is charging. And you can hear the noise. It shows up in the top that uh, the battery is charged but it is receiving power from a power adapter. Now that is awesome. Um, I wasn't 100% if this was going to work and that's just really cool. Um, because if you're running, for example, like an Asus uh, side monitor, USB-C, or a USB monitor, you could, for example, take a dongle um, and use your, here, I'm going to move my computer back and give you an example of what I'm saying. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. Uh, what I have here is just an Apple dongle in the back. Um, I can move the camera to give you guys a better look. I run an HDMI into my monitor um, so that I just close my MacBook Pro and I use that as my desktop setup for when I'm working. But I just removed the power brick USB-C adapter and now I'm going to plug in the anchor. Set this down so I could show you while I'm doing that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and install the anchor into the Apple dongle. It picks up that it is plugged in. Now I'm going to plug the dongle into my MacBook Pro. Take a second while it streams onto the other monitor. Great, it's picking up. Now the moment of truth is going to be whether I can shut my MacBook Pro and have it stream onto the monitor still using my Bluetooth mouse and my Bluetooth keyboard. And does it work? Moment of truth. No, that's interesting. Maybe the power brick isn't picking it up through the dongle, but it's just something to keep in mind if you do want to set up some kind of external monitor and use a power brick, not a power brick, but a um, portable battery to try and power your setup. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. These are some weird solutions, I know, but I haven't seen a lot of videos addressing any of these things in the past. Uh, I don't know why somebody would want to do that. Maybe they don't want to buy a USB 3.0 to a USB-C cord and they want to use an adapter to set it up. That will charge your MacBook Pro, um, but you will not be able to use that with an Apple dongle. You know, that just gave me an idea. Let's see if I can remove it from the Apple dongle, plug it straight into the MacBook Pro, and let's see if that makes a difference.
All right, now it does say that it is charging on my MacBook Pro. Wow, look at that. So it looks like it wasn't picking up. Um, you see it is plugged in and the LEDs are on. I know that's a tough angle, sorry. Um, it must not have picked up the Apple Dongo in the Power IQ and the Anchor series, but if you plug it in directly into the MacBook Pro, and keep in mind, this is with an adapter on it as well. But look at that, it's charging. You could use an external desktop setup, uh, external monitor, I mean, and that's really interesting. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Uh, come back and watch, like, comment, let me know what I can do better in the future, and have a good day. Have fun.